Hi, this is Kathy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert an Excel file into a FileMaker Pro database. Here's the Excel file that we're going to use. You may recognize this from one of the lessons that we did when we worked on Excel. This file is a movie database that was created in Excel and it's one of the files that came with your textbook. The name of it is 14-1 create table. If you look at the file you notice that row 1 has field headings. When you can convert an Excel file into FileMaker Pro it's best to have the first row set up with your field names. So there are several records. I'm just going to kind of scroll through it. Right now there's 64 records. Excuse me, there's 63 because the first one, the first row is the um, field names. All right, so then column A is the title field, column B is the genre, column C, director, etc. So there's the Excel file. In FileMaker Pro, you're going to go to this section right here, convert an existing file. So in this section right here, convert an existing file. I'm going to click convert an existing file. I'm going to go to the Excel file and open it. And here it's asking me if I want to use the data in the first row. If you do that, your field names are going to be F1 for field 1, F2 for field 2. But we have field names in our first row, so we're going to use this option, the first option, field names. The first row will be used to name the fields. And then click OK. Then it's asking you for the name. It brings in the, the name of the Excel file, and then it adds the word converted at the end. Let's call it Movie Database. And then you're going to tell it where you want to save it. I saved it in a folder called FileMaker Pro. You can save it wherever you like. Click Save. And there it is. So that was actually pretty easy, but you want to check to make sure that here in the top row that, that you see your field names and then the rest of your records. And then if you look up here in the status bar, it shows you that you have that you're looking at record one of 63. And when you convert an Excel file to a FileMaker profile on your layout, it gives you two different layouts. So this is layout one, this is like a table, and then you can go to layout two. And this is more like a, this is a form layout. If you want to work with one record at a time. Next, what I would like you to do is add a movie to the database. To get the information that you need to add a movie to your database, I suggest that you go to a website website like this, www.imbd.com slash genre, then you could just type the name of a movie in here. For instance, let's say that you want to add Bridesmaids. I'd like you to add a different movie. I'm just using this as an example. Okay, here's the movie Bridesmaids. So here it gives me the information about the movie. Here's the date. The database has a date field, but it's just for the year, so make sure you just type the year. It says it's a comedy or romance. Here's the director, the writers, and the stars. So you would use that information to create a record. When you create a record, you can scroll down and you can add a record at the bottom. See the plus sign? That means that row is ready for you to add a record. But I think you might find it a little bit easier to follow if you switch to the other layout because it's in a form and you're just looking at one record at a time. So it's not quite so distracting. And then up here, you're going to click New Record. I resize my window so that I can see both of these at the same time. Okay, so you can type the name of the movie. Again, I don't want you to use the movie Bridesmaids. I want you to find a different movie. Okay, there's only one genre listed here, so I'm just going to use comedy. Suppose I could type comedy slash romance, but I'm just going to type comedy. And then the director, that information's over here. I press tab to go down to the next field. There are two writers here, but there's only one field for the writer. 
So I'm going to put both of the writers' names in here. If you find that there are a lot of records where there are two writers, you could add another field to your database to accommodate for that. Okay, there are four fields for actors. Over here for your stars, there's three. I suppose you could look up and see who else was in the movie you wanted to fill those up all four in. But that's not really necessary. So I'm going to type one actor's name. I'm going to press tab, type the next one. Press tab, type the next one. The, ang the English is, the language is English. And the date's over here, 2011. I'm scrolling down on the website, the, the genre, the website. Here's where I got the language. Here's the, more information about the date. If your database had a field for numbers, uh, for instance, the gross amount, then you could do things like search the highest grossing movie, etc. Here's the t information about the runtime. There's a lot more information available than what we're using in this in this database. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to layout two. And by default, your record's added to the bottom of the list. I would like you to sort on date. So we're going to go over to the date field. When I move my mouse to the word to one of these fields, a little arrow appears on the right side of the field. I'm going to click the down arrow. And I want you to sort descending. That would put the most current movies at the top. So what's great about this is that you can sort on any one of these fields. And if you want to do multiple sorts, you can, you can do that. You, have, you sort one field at a time. And then fields would be sorted within each other. So if you wanted to sort by genre, you could sort by genre. And then you could sort by title, director, etc. Your data is saved automatically as you're working. So you notice now that you have 64 records. We started with 63. And where it says found, remember when you, when you sort something or you find something, it's called the, the found set. It said it found 64 records and they're sorted. All right, so that's what I want you to, to turn in to me. I would like you to submit this file called Movie Database to me. Before you submit it, click File, Save a Copy As, and then type your last name with the file. Save it and submit that file for me for grading. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the exercise.